Some of this uh, album, the people are going to see by Del P. And there's this one track, uh, Rising, that I had, uh, that I really like. I like this whole album, but that song, Rising. Uh, then I had my kids uh, singing it with me. Uh, and I also had a poem, right, that I wrote back in 2015. It's called uh, Rising. I mean, it was called Elevation. So to me, the song Elevation, the poem Elevation that I wrote, I felt that uh, I could improve it a little bit better from listening to Del P's, uh the rhythm of his song Rising. So this is uh, this the song Rising. I'm going to play a little bit of Rising, and then I want God to tell me if y'all could kind of feel where I was coming from with my poem. It's just a snippet of it, and the poem was actually for a, a picture book that was going to be like a story in the, in the form of my, uh, from the form of my poem. So I thought that would be a good idea to see if I can come up with a picture book, maybe about 40 pages. But if it kind of can work, but if the song, so if the rhythm can help me improve the, uh, the poem, then I think it'll make the book better if I, if I go that way with it. But this is the writer. Let me know if you can hear the beat. sound is clear and high quality because it's kind of like a um kind of just kind of looped it a little bit and, and uh just just to see so let me know hold up i gotta unmute it We're rising. drop the shackles and chains now rise rise to another day grateful when you open your eyes Rise like the morning sun, like a phoenix from the ashes, or waves from an ocean tide. Rise, expand your mind, like eagles open wingspans to soar, glide, and rise. Rising, maneuvering through the eye of the storm, reaching new heights, new highs. Rise, up like Lazarus, come out of the darkness, walk into the light, inner sight. You have unlimited power with imagination. Feel his presence, easing the burden and strengthening you to rise up. Elevate your mind and stay grounded, like a tree planted roots deep in fertile soil. Grow strong and rise as tall as the tallest trees. Rise beyond the mountain peaks of Mount Everest. Imagination gives you unlimited leverage. Your mind and gifts together are the wings of miracles. No more hesitation. Become a rising demonstration. Rising demonstration. Rising demonstration. Demonstration. Mike B. Creative, Michael Burton. Encouraging you to rise up. Shout out to Tricata. Shout out to Mel and DLP for that Keep Rising track. Yeah, it got that bass line. Like, it reminds me of that Aaliyah Rock the Boat. That boom, 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 boom. Because when I first wrote that poem, I was actually listening to, like, movie soundtracks. You know, like, uh, what was that? With Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, Inception. Yeah, yeah. So, like, Inception and, like, some stuff like 
you know, the Spider-Man, the classical stuff for the soundtrack. But I think I had too many words and I always knew it. So when I went back and started reading it over and listening to that beat, I was like, I need to take some words out. It's too wordy. And, um, but that's just like, like a maybe barely a minute of it. The whole poem is about maybe close to five minutes, I think. No, no, actually close to seven to eight minutes because it's, it's for before a book. Well, but I'll see. I'm working on it. But uh, that's about it. Other than that, I may uh, play play a little bit of something else for y'all. Struggle through seasons. So if you look on my post recently, I just posted a post on the struggle through seasons, and they had uh, M and B Scout on it because she she really liked it. She heard the original. Oh, thank you, thank you. I am LaRonda Dawson. Peace, Queen. Appreciate that. Yeah, so if y'all don't know who Del P is, he's out in Philadelphia, MC out Philadelphia. Um, I met him, you know, on Twitter, and uh, I, will, I I got really cool with him on there, along with uh, Arrest Development and Speech. So he was actually on Speeches uh, and Arrest Development album uh, for the F and Love, uh, which came out last year, or was it? Yeah, last year, December, around this time, real dope album. Uh, and he, Dell's been on the songs with him, uh, like I think it was David Banner, but yeah, he's he's done collabs with a lot of uh, known you know people and all of that, and he respected and really liked what I was doing because uh, I was I've always been uh, into writing, um, and poetry and even open mics, but I've never really uh, um, tried to record. So I never really knew how I sounded, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, if you're at a live event, you know, you got people around. Uh, and if you got music playing or something behind you, it's just different, like, when you're out in public because, you know, really, you can't really hear your voice like you would if you're in the headphones and in the mic. So I, I, so I got a decent mic. And I said, oh, wow, okay. I do. Okay, I got a voice because I wasn't sure. Because I, be, I would actually be really... I was sub self conscious for a while. I was like, I don't know if I got the voice for it or not. But but when I got bold enough to um just start recording a little bit, yeah, it was like September around this time when I had to struggle the season. That's why I think I'll play a little snippet of that. Because like it's like I know I had a testimony and the story that I shouldn't take for granted, man, especially from where I came from and, you know, dealing with mental not mental but like uh, uh, uh illness that took almost took my life you know with cancer and losing my dad and all of that stuff like two years before that you know it's just a lot of stuff going on i was only 18 at the time and this and then other things that just happened in between that time even up until now and around COVID, you know lose, losing so many people i was just like man I got to do something with my life. And I got kids too. Cause like, I, it's like I did a lot over the years, but it felt like I haven't, I hadn't done enough. It's like, and even when I finished my book, uh, my first book, let me paint a picture back in 2006. I was like, okay, I got it done. You know, I, I did a little bit with it. Did some book signings and sold some stuff on my own, but I knew that wasn't it. I think I just had gotten burned out because when I first did that book, you know, I was, that's when I was first really discovering that I could write like, like that when I did the uh, Let Me Paint a Picture and Struggle Through Seasons. I let my mom read it. And she was just like, man, I didn't know that you could write like that. And I was like, you know what? I didn't either. But um, but the thing was, was that I didn't realize I had started listening to music so much, like just like constantly. You know, I always had on headphones around 18, 19. And then when at my job, the job that I had, they didn't care that I could listen to music. So I was always plugged in while I was working. Nobody would bother me most of the time. So I guess with just all of that, the music, and besides that, you know, my father played in the band. This live band called The Grand Jury. Uh, and so it, I was born into music. He was a drummer. Uh, he played, played drums and he played the uh, acoustic guitar. And a couple of the, yeah, the harmonica. And what's those things? What you shake? He had those. He used to play with those. And he had the electric drums. This was like in the 
late seventies up into the early eighties from what I remember when I was born. So I had a chance to see him and play with his guys, his best friends and stuff. They would play right in the basement. So I was that young. I remember crawling out my crib from the third floor and I would crawl down there because because the music would go from the basement through the vent up to the floor. And uh sometimes I'd be sleeping, I'd wake up hearing the drums, like, okay, daddy playing, let me go down there. So I see him practicing or I see his band with him. So I was I was curating music. I was like, man, I've been curating music since I was a baby, a toddler, you know, up until five or six. And they play so much different music that um I was like, yeah. It was in my blood. And he used to do paint demo, demos for me because he was an artist, visual artist as well. And so uh, so that's why I I, uh, I was like, yeah, in the struggle through season, I didn't realize that his artistic, his artistic uh, spirit was molded into my soul, something like that I said from the beginning. So it was always, that's who I was going to be. And he, he knew it. And he it was, it was just part of it. But what he did, and uh, that, and I was like, yeah, I got to carry it on. 